afternoon. It is lunchtime. I've been snacking on Ritz crackers today, so I'm not hungry. Also, we're running out of food. Again. So we need to make a habit of like going to the grocery store more often. Um, which would be a lot easier if it wasn't freaking cold outside. Today's weather is uh, a high of 26 degrees. Currently 26 degrees, I mean. I don't know what the high is. Probably not any better. Whoop. And the... Um, um, oh, I was on TikTok and Marika posted, has been posting some videos. She posted a video of her taking herself. I don't know if it was just herself. She had a dog or whatever. She's going on a walk around her neighborhood area. And she's talking about the snow. And those people, they're up in Minnesota. They got like three feet of snow or something. And I'm like, that's too much snow. And she's like, it's so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, it would look beautiful. Like, if I'm inside with my comfy on, watching a movie, you know, being toasty and warm inside. I don't want to have to buy a jacket or coat that is, like, super thick, has the big fur hood thing on. I don't want to have to go outside going, <sighs> because... It's so cold, I can't even feel my face. I like feeling my face, and I like to be warm. I live in the wrong state, and I am so glad I do not live in Minnesota. Because I just hate snow that much. That's how much I hate snow, okay? I had a friend who moved down to Florida. Um... And she's like a nomad, basically. She ha she lives out of camp a camper. Um, she lives off campgrounds and whatnot. Um, so anyway, she's settled down there because she likes the warmth and not being cold. I understand that because where she settled. It doesn't get cold. It'll only be hot compared to here. So, um, good for her, I guess. I don't want to be sweltering, you know, like miserable. But hopefully, if we ever get the chance to move down south, we will live either on a lake or have a pool. Or live even near a lake where I can go and I will swim. Oh, it's way hot. Okay, I'm gonna go swimming. You know, it would be cool to be like a subcontractor or a contractor. Be contracted to do it for jobs. I can work my own hours. I could be like, I can work wherever I want to work. Because I work remotely, but it's not a mobile remote. Like, I have to be at my desk to do the actual work. I can't do work on a laptop or out in the public that kind of thing because of the contract we have requires a lot of security and it's not very secure if i'm out at like starbucks or something or out by a beach or wherever it'd be really awesome if it were like summertime and i could sit outside in my backyard you know, with like a laptop or something and just sit outside in my backyard just chilling and being like, oh yeah, it's 90 degrees or whatever temperature. I would love it to be 90 degrees. Yes, yes I would. We have our heater set up for 80 degrees in the house. <sighs> Unfortunately, this house is not insulated well. So most of our heat escapes. So it does not feel like 80 degrees. I uh, wish it did. But it does not. Okay. I think this is good. I got my hair out. Just sprayed it today instead of dunking it because I didn't want a super wet. Oh, excuse me. Head. Ow. 
this back, the, 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 what do you call this crown? My head is always, always freaking not crown. Crown is up here because it's on the top. More like, you know, the back crown. I don't know what you want to call it. It's always nappy. Oh, anywho. So, uh, my nephew, Makai, has a, an amazing habit of brushing his teeth so frequently that his teeth are like pearly white. And I don't know if over brushing your teeth is a thing, but I'm like, I wish I had that habit, you know? So I'm thinking, at least on my lunch, and if I can get this one down to brush my teeth on my lunch break every day, then I can do, then I can add like on my second break or something and then she brushed your teeth, God damn it. All right, I brushed my teeth. Um, I don't have my glasses on. That's okay. They're in the bathroom, I believe. Put them somewhere. Let's do a joke this afternoon. Let me make sure I'm on the right page. How did the night watchman sleep? On his side with an eye mask? So my mom is gifting me the money for my dryer, right? Well, she already sent it to me pre-Christmas. It was Christmas Eve, I believe, is when we figured out what dryer we wanted. So I gave them through the end of December to be like, all right, here's your money. Well, now it's the first week of January and we still haven't gotten it transferred. It was, she transferred it from her credit union to my credit union account and it is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to be calling my bank tomorrow and be like, um, do you have this on hold or the wrong account? And she gave me like whatever she got from Heartland, um, from her credit union to so that I can possibly, you know, I'll ask them and be like, um, yeah. And then I'll call mom if they can't help me and we'll work with Heartland and I may do whatever, which is fine. It could have been a keying error. Either way, give me my money. My mom doesn't want to pay somebody else, you know, an unknown person. Mom wants to pay me. It's my gift. She wants to give to me because I'm a spoiled brat. When I drool. So I'm watching Deathly Hollows Part 2. It has occurred to me, if you're, if you're unsure about what Deathly Hollows are, there are the uh, Cloak of Invisibility, the Elder Wand, and the Resurrection Stone. It occurs to me that currently, while even though Harry Potter doesn't possess the Elder Wand right now, his allegiance is to the... Juan's allegiance is to Harry Potter because it was Malfoy who uh, disarmed Dumbledore, who owned the wand before, in the clock tower. And so, but then Harry Potter disarmed Malfoy, which means the allegiance of the, the Elder Wand went from Dumbledore to Malfoy to Potter. So, he... He owns the invisibility cloak. He has the stone, the resurrection stone. It's inside the snitch that he doesn't know about yet. And he is possession of the other one. So with all three, it is rumored or whatever to believe that they make one master of death. So Harry Potter, Harry Potter, no, oh, Harry Potter is the master of death in like all of the Deathly Hollows. I just, I've just occurred to me this. I've just occurred to me? This has just occurred to me. 
There's something I learn every time I watch Harry Potter. It's crazy. Watching a movie with me. <laughs> Russ is either in the bathroom or in his office. Both lights are on. Uh, I can see under the door, the crack. I think he's in the bathroom. Because that's where I remember him going last. And he was watching the movie with me, and then he decided he wasn't watching the movie with me. I don't know. Don't know that matter. I am done watching the movie Get Out, is what I watched. Um, it's a little after 10 o'clock, and I think I am not sure if I'm going to watch something else or go to bed. Either way, nothing interesting is going to be happening or said. So, uh, tomorrow I have to call my bank. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, so have a good night. Toodles.